part de la confusion chez les conservateurs. Autrefois, le premier ministre a exprimé son intention d'établir le prix du carbone oh, oui. à 65, 65 dollars la tonne. Maintenant, il a cha Mon changé l'histoire. Mais pour les conservateurs, et je cite, un prix sur le carbone, c'est ni plus ni moins qu'une taxe sur le carbone. Est-ce que les conservateurs oh. renient maintenant le premier ministre qui a affirmé qu'un prix sur le carbone n'était pas une taxe sur le carbone? Oh. Oh. Le la citation du, du député, c'est clair que le gouvernement devait, n'allait pas imposer une taxe sur le carbone. C'est tout à fait le contraire. Mr. Speaker, the difference is simply this. No plan ever proposed by this government has involved raising revenue and taking money from Canadian consumers. They have in their platform, right in black and white, in their financial tables, a $20 billion hit on Canadian consumers and households, something this government will never do. They asked. It seems that the Conservatives are caught in a vicious cycle here because they're either claiming that the Prime Minister never gave a speech that you can find on the PMO website or that a price on carbon is not a tax on carbon. Is there anyone over on that side who will stand up and defend the Prime Minister <laughs> on his position that a carbon tax is not the same as a price on carbon? This is really eating up a lot of time. These, no, no, these, outbursts, these outbursts before the members finish putting the question are not helpful. The Honourable Member for Halifax still has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will they defend the Prime Minister or will they throw him under the bus? <laughs> You're right, Honourable Prime Minister. The member keeps leading with her chin. I'm prepared to keep going here. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, this government, uh, the Minister of the Environment, has taken important steps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in this country, including most recently a comprehensive plan uh, to gradually eliminate coal-fired electricity in this country, the biggest single source of greenhouse gas emissions in the world. And, Mr. Speaker, we're doing that without imposing taxes on carbon. What the NDP wants to do is, in the name of environmental uh, progress. They want to take money from Canadian taxpayers to spend. We will not let them do that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It seems that the Conservatives are caught in a bit of an ethical dilemma here. They're making things up about the NDP. They're denying that they ever supported a price on carbon. Day. Order. The Honourable Member for Halifax has had several interruptions during her questions. It's not helpful to the Chamber. It's eating up a lot of time. We'll have to find that time somewhere else now. The Honourable Member for Halifax still has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Day after day, Conservative MPs and Ministers are making things up, they're spouting mistruths, and they're misleading Canadians. This is a major ethical issue, so my question is to the Chair of the Ethics Committee. I would like to know whether or not this issue is on the Committee agenda. Euh, en effet, le comité de l'éthique s'occupe de dossiers très importants, comme présentement on fait une étude sur la, la, la vie privée et les médias sociaux. Alors, une comédie ou une house, MPs should conduct themselves in a very ethical manner, including not making things up about other parties. Uh, conservative tactics have been denounced widely, some media even asking, how stupid do the conservative 
thinks Canadians are. So as the chair of the Ethics Committee, I invite my colleagues across the way to address that question in committee if they want. Thank you.